What's up, my K says here's it's your girl. K says the Oracle back in the building with another banger. It's your favorite Perry, your psychic bestie. Guys, we are back in the building for true crime Thursday. Period. Welcome to True Crime Thursday. Right, that's right, guys. It is True Crime Thursday. We are in this thing. We got we got three cases we running through the course today. So if you love True Crime, this will be a good show for you to stay tuned and watch. All right, let's go ahead and play that intro, and then we're gonna shout out who put up your girl notification band. Yeah, it's True Crime Thursday. We got three cases, talking about three black men today. And also, when we wrap those up, we will be doing a few 15, excuse me, 15, 15 future self readings. All right, let's put up your girl notification van. As you can see, the software is lagging. Once again, they're going to continue to fuck with your girl. My computer is clean. Everything is clean. The internet is clean. Like, I don't understand why it's now doing that. So please try to push through. It's, I've done everything I can do. It's not me okay let's see who put up in your girl notification van all right all right all right let's see oh we got moana in that thing skr, skr. she pulled up in that thing okay one plan period then we got onika in that thing co-pilot co-pilot we got lala in the back of that thing all right all right all right we got chris we got tiffany we got robin nolden we got Sunny in this thing. We got Lucita, girly. What's going on? Long time no here, gang, gang, okay? We got Sabrina in this thing, right? Hey, girly. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 guys. Let's go ahead and say that prayer. God, protect my energy. Put a fiery wall of protection around me, my home, my family, and fancy. Allow me to see and hear the messages clearly. Take my bodies out of the reading. Angels, ancestors, I appreciate your love, guidance, wisdom, and protection. Also, put a fiery wall of protection around all my case sessions, both new and old, and send them love and life for their highest good. Amen. Guys, let's pull up our first case. Our first case we're talking about today is Kevin McGrath. He went on a carnival cruise out of Miami for his 60th birthday party for his dad, along with like 30, they said 20 to 30 uh, family members on Carnival Conquest. It was supposed to be over Labor Day weekend and they were going from Miami to Bimini. Bimini is uh, in the Bahamas, okay? This is like a short two to like three day, two to three day type of cruise, okay? one destination and you coming back to port so they said in the midst of this short cruise for the father's b-day that when it was time to leave the ship kevin was nowhere to be found kevin is in the middle of this photo right here they said that kevin was nowhere to be found now how was that then his sister i believe christian or christian stated that he never got off the boat then the brother Andre stated that he saw Andre last the, 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 the early morning of the day that the ship was debarking at 3 a.m. Near his room, 1326. Andre, his brother, was the last person to see him, they said. So something isn't something isn't making you know what I'm saying something ain't adding up. Okay, now I did do like a pre pull when I first saw this on TikTok, and yeah, it shit ain't adding up. All right, we gonna chop it up. We gonna chop it up. Let me see what y'all talking about. What's up, Tawana? Thank you for pulling up. Oh my God, girly. 
You, you heard me a little early today. Yes, we're doing good. Girl, Lucida, here you go. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. So, let's get into it. So, let's start the poke holes and what they saying happened. They saying that Andre, excuse me, Kevin, I don't know where, Andre is the brother of Kevin. They saying that Kevin never got off the boat in uh to the Bimini location. But to me, energetically, I feel like that's a lie. I feel like he did get off the boat. He just didn't get off the boat with other people or whoever he got off the boat with. They're not saying that they got off the boat with Kevin, okay? So something's not adding up here. So let's ask one more time. With the uh with the yes or no deck, did Kevin get off the boat in Bimini? Did Kevin get off the boat in Bimini? Did Kevin get off the boat when they were docked at Bimini? Did Kevin get off the boat while in Bimini? Tell me more. Again, I still feel like they are wanting to they're wanting for us to believe that he never got off the boat, but he did. He did. He did. He did. He did. Let's circle back. So angels, ancestors. Um did anybody that works for Carnival Conquest do harm? To Kevin, did harm come to Kevin while he was on the ship? Is what I'm trying to say. Did harm come to Kevin while he was on the ship? I'm telling y'all, bro, it's not. It's not the ship. Did Kevin meet somebody off the ship in Bimini? know how there's it's almost like it's very weird but it's almost like there's no proof that he got off the ship which is hella odd to me angels ancestors is there no proof that kevin got off the ship is there no proof that kevin got off the ship Forgiveness, you get compromised. Did Kevin get off the ship with one of his family members? Did Kevin get off the ship with one of his family members? It's like he didn't want to. I don't know. He didn't want to. He was like somebody's plus one to something, like a wingman to something. Let's see. Um, did Kevin get off the ship with Andre? Period. Because, like, Andre is the one time on that he was the last to see Kevin at 3 a.m. Did, did Andre actually see Kevin at 3 a.m. on the ship? Did Andre actually see Kevin? Did Andre actually see Kevin on the ship at 3 a.m.?
Yeah, I'm not getting it. He saw him. I'm not getting it. He saw him. Which is exactly what I knew going into this, okay? Because like I told you, I seen this case yesterday. So then I was like, okay, I'm starting to like channel. I'm starting to like pick up energy. And like I kept seeing like some boys. And I'm like, boys. I'm like, what the fuck? Almost like he was like kidnapped, right? And I was like, oh, was he kidnapped? Was Kevin kidnapped? We got abundance, remain positive, helpful people. Was he kidnapped? And it's funny that abundance comes out because my next inclination, right after that, from my uh, channeling yesterday, I got $50,000. That the kidnappers was asking for $50,000 in exchange for Kevin. Then I got that the, the, the kidnappers were in contact with Kevin's family. See, trust in the process. They have been in contact with Kevin's family, according to these energies. Um, and I was like, okay, who kidnapped him? Like, what type of crime is going on in Bimini? Like, this isn't necessarily the first time I've heard of Bimini, but never like under the the microscope of crime, right? But when you research Bahamas, it's full of fucking crime, okay? Because you can think about it, just like um, Lucida was saying, drugs, it's a coastal city, it's drugs and crime, human trafficking, the worst of the worst that you could find is actually thriving in the Bahamas. So earlier, like I was telling you, I kept seeing like boys, boys. I'm like, what boys? Like the name of like some type of game, it was gang, it was like blank boys. And so I was researching, it's like typically two gangs in Bimini. Now, this is not like an easy thing to find, okay, when you have nothing to go on. But I came up with, it's Nike Boys. It's a, a gang called the Nike Boys that operate in the Bahamas and Bimini. So does are do the, do the gang fraction Nike Boys, are they the ones that have Kevin? Do the Nike boys have Kevin? Do the Nike boys have Kevin? Now, this was yesterday, so I don't know if something has changed in the order of what's happened, but yesterday I got that the Nike boys had him for certain. There's another group called D Block. But it's like it's given that Kevin will be recovered if the money is paid. If the money is paid. Just what I thought yesterday. Let me see what y'all talking about in the comment section. You said you got the same pink outfit. That's hilarious. Look, see the girl. What you talking about? So it's funny that you said something about the captains be smuggling because there was one time where I took a Mexican cruise to um, Mazatlan, Puerto Vallarta, and Cabo. And like we didn't do the captain's dinner when we were on Carnival, but like I saw the captain a few times. And when I saw him, and it was actually his last, his last time, like he was retiring. It's like his retirement last trip. So he was like making himself and his presence known aboard the ship, which captains don't typically do unless it's like an appointed thing for like the captain's dinner or whatever. But when I saw him, I immediately thought like drugs, smuggling. I immediately thought it like I like it just popped into my fucking head. Now I I couldn't prove this. I'm I'm a Nebri. I'm like maybe I'm tripping. I don't know where that came from. I went about my business, but I definitely think that there be some shit going down with these cruise lines. Okay, 
let's get into it. Let's ask Angel's ancestors. Um, was the captain of the conquest a part of a drug smuggling ring? We got opportunity. We got no need to worry. We got to get more information. We got again coinciding with the abundance and communicating clearly. Hmm. Was Kevin's brother Andre a part of this ring? Because again, yesterday I kept seeing like, did he see something he wasn't supposed to see? Was he at the wrong place at the wrong time? Was Andre, Kevin's brother, a part of this smuggling ring? I'm not getting that. Did Andre see some type of drug deal go down? See, again, I'm getting that perfect timing. It's like they were at, they thought that they were at the perfect place at the perfect time, but they actually were at the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, it's getting crazy. Like, it's getting crazy. So, bagging it up, like, they own this 60th birthday cruise for the dad. they like, 20, 30 family members on the cruise. It's only a three-day cruise from Miami to Bimini. Somewhat, sometime while they were docked in Bimini, there was some type of something coming aboard this ship. I don't know what time it was. I can't, I can't find the... Um, I can't find the, what do you call that? The itinerary for that cruise. So I don't know how long they were at the Port of Bimini or any of that. Um, what's crazy, it's like once again, so on my original point, the brothers saw something that they were supposed to see. I don't know if Andre saw something first, told his brother, brought him in like, hey, 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 look, 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 look. But it's like it's given that they saw something that they wasn't supposed to see. Now, I'm not understanding necessarily why Andre, Kevin's brother, was allowed to leave, but Kevin was not. Now, Kevin is also uh, um, a military vet. Interesting tidbit, right? Interesting tidbit. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the true crime day. All right, Angel's ancestors, what really happened to Kevin? What really happened to Kevin? What really happened to Kevin? No soul. Tell me more. What really happened to Kevin? We got foot. We got breaking. We got the letter C. We got thought back. And we got stomach. Tell me more. What really happened to Kevin? We got the letter F. We got mysterious. We got prejudice. And we got ops. Angels, ancestors, what really happened to Kevin? We got children. We got crime ring, like I was telling y'all, period. Hat, tell me more. We got the letter E. We got N, D, N, A. I somehow, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like Kevin is coming back. You see this, like you picking up that he's dead. But I feel like he's coming back. And whatever he's coming back, what he can't talk about. I don't know. Things could always change, but even according to yesterday when I was pulling the energies on this, I felt like he was going to be, he was going to come back because all they need to do is pay the money. I mean, yeah, I don't know who got $50,000 just laying around. These are just seem like everyday people, but if they do the exchange for the money, then they'll get Kevin back. So I don't know if something will go wrong with that, right? But 
I don't know. From this point in the timeline, I feel like Kevin is going to be returned as long as the money is paid. What's up, Nicole? This is crazy as hell. Tell me more about what really happened to Kevin. We got my home. We got the letter L. We got side guy. We got big money involved. Whew, wrong place, wrong time. Tell me more. Planted evidence. Hiding something. International link. Angels, ancestors. Is Kevin still alive? Is Kevin still alive? We got to be assertive. We got not the right time. There's something better. A year. Something something happened a year ago. It says, listen to your intuition. Because, again, I'm feeling that he's still alive and that if they pay the ransom money, he will be returned. But, again, I don't know if something with that exchange will go wrong because it feels like it's like a don't contact the police type of vibe. So I don't know, do they break down and contact the police or what? Because, I mean, it says big money involved. We're talking about a crime ring. These people is not playing. They can give a fuck less about Kevin. They just don't want no interruption, no kinks in their business. Let's look up who is the captain of the Carnival Conquest. Let's see if it'll tell us. Let me see, you guys. I don't know if this is an old. Hold on one second while I try to find this. I don't think it's going to be easy. Let me see something. Sometimes people put it in their reviews. Hold on. But they be changing captains all the time. Shit, guys. I don't know. I don't know if I'm I'm able to figure like figure that out. Okay, so Angel's ancestors did the captain did the captain have something to do with because it's like again they can't it's no proof that he got off the ship, but he did. And the only thing that could happen is that something was tampered with as far as like the the uh the cameras. I mean like captain's orders, right? So Angel's ancestors did the captain give someone orders to delete footage of Kevin getting off the ship. Communicate clearly. Meditation brings answers. Reconsider helpful people. Improving health. Look. That's going to come up and it may be proven in the future. But as of now, nobody's looking at Carnival. Does Carnival know that captains are involved in drug smuggling? Does Carnival know that captains are involved in drug smuggling? We got in the near future. Remain positive. I'm trying to see how far does this go. 
within the next few weeks in the past, you're ready to take action, trust the process. It's not saying no, it is not saying yes. You know? It's not saying yes, it's giving like a great op, like a great area. Like they're operating within some type of great area about knowing or not knowing. Let me see what y'all talking about. You hear me? <laughs> Period, girl. Yes. I'm not paying no two hundred dollars for no phone. I was doing that. I'm not paying two hundred dollars for no phone. Hell no. Shit. I got a. I got one of the latest damn Boost mobile phones. Fifty dollars a month. Fuck that. That's what I can afford. I don't do lashes no more. All right. Let me see. What else is? What else do I need to know about Kevin? Paying two hundred dollars for a phone. Hell no. We got dirty cop. We got cursed. Tell me more. If it's a rain, then some type of cops got to be on the payroll. We got burned. We got baby mama. We got buried. Tell me more about what happened to Kevin. We got DNA. Tell me more. Lots of blood, knife, dirty contracts, devil contracts, follow conspiracy. Hmm. Yeah, this is hella crazy, though. I don't know how this is going to end, but as of right now, Kevin is still alive. And they're blackmailing his family for $50,000. Uh, I don't know if the family is going to pay it. I don't know where they're getting $50,000. I don't know if they've been trying to tally the money up as of as of late, since yesterday or since. Because it's just happened. Like, Labor Day was just, you know, this weekend. It's only Thursday. Angel's ancestors. Will Kevin's family pay the ransom? I don't know. They in talks and trying to get the money, but I don't know if they're gonna pay it. I don't think they got it to to give to get. You know. I feel like the police is gonna get involved. Angel's ancestors will Kevin's family get the police involved about the ransom money. They've been delaying should they go, like they've been delaying should they tell the police about the ransom money. But eventually I feel like they will. They just waiting on the right time. Because if they do, then police will provide the money. But definitely something about Nike boys. Nike boys was the last thing I heard as far as like who could be involved with who is holding Kevin and who was like, who initially had possession of him um, from when this whole incident went down. But it's like, it's giving, like, it's like, I'm, I'm seeing, like, I don't know, there was some type of exchanges, some type of conversations that was like over her. It's like, is he seeing something coming on it? Like, it was just like, he's seeing something that they, they wasn't supposed to see these two, right? And I feel like the brother saw it first and then, like, Andre saw it first, and then he told Kevin, and then I don't know that they then go to investigate to prove to him type of shit. Like, um, but then it's like, I feel like they were captured. Um, and I feel like Kevin was, like, beat up, like, being interrogated, like, beat up. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Was he being interrogated and beat up in the lower decks of the ship? Was he being interrogated and beat up on the lower decks of the ship? Guys, look. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why, again, there's no proof that he got off the ship or any footage of him being on the ship. Like,
as far as like getting off is what I'm talking about. And then the other, like the other footage of him, like somehow being in like these lower dicks. Cause like his cameras, every fucking word, but footage of footage of Kevin has been erased from the cameras. Has footage of Kevin been erased from Carnival Conquest's cameras? Everything on their end, they got their timing down pat. Boom, it happened at boom, and then boom. So it's no way Carnival, we already, they already came on the ship. We had these people looking, this, nothing. It can't be Carnival. So they've already cleared themselves. So nobody like on the like public eye-wise will be looking at Carnival. It doesn't seem like Carnival is involved. But there is like something here. Um, so initially, nobody from Carnival was out to harm him. But they did see something that they wasn't supposed to see while they was on that ship. Because the captain indeed was involved in some type of operation with a criminal element and drug element um, operating on in through Bahamas and Bimini. The brothers saw something they wasn't supposed to see. Period. Period. That's exactly what I'm getting. Girl, what is you lost about? What y'all lost about? So, Kevin, how y'all lost about this case? So, this is Kevin. Kevin McGrath, he's in the middle, right? He was on a Labor Day cruise with his family for his dad's 60th birthday party. His dad is right there in the gray hair. Okay? Three-day cruise. Picking up in Miami. Stopping in Bimini, boat goes back to Miami. That's it. They're saying that when the boat got back to Miami, they kept was nowhere to be found on the boat. His brother is stating to him or stating to the people that he last saw Kevin at 3 a.m. The sister is saying that Kevin never got off the boat. How would she know? I'm getting energetically that Kevin did get off the boat. Even further so, him and his brother saw something that they were supposed to see that involves the captain and some type of criminal element on Bimini. Bimini is uh, like a small area island in the Bahamas. What are you confused about? So we're poking holes into what they're saying happened to Kevin, the accepted narrative versus what energy is saying here. Energy is not saying that Kevin didn't get off that boat. Energy is saying that Kevin did get off that boat, but not because necessarily he wanted to get off the boat. Also, that him and his brother was captured in the lower levels of the boat and they were beat up and they were interrogated. What do you know? Who sent you? Who do you work for? Why are you down here? What did you see? What are you confused about? Kevin is still missing. Andre and his family are off the boat and they're just claiming we don't know where Kevin is. Now, some of them don't know where Kevin is, but the brother knows something. Andre knows something. Andre knows something. It also came out energetically even before I did this live that um, the uh, they were holding Kevin that's pictured in the middle right here for a ransom of $50,000. I don't know if his family is going to pay it because they weren't supposed to get in contact with the police, but I think they will get in contact with the police. The police will try to provide the money, but I don't know if it will go left to get Kevin back. As far as I can see, Kevin should be returned if the money is paid. That's all they care about is money. And them being able to continue their operation day to day. So that's all I'm seeing. So where are you lost at? We're about to move on to the next case. Are you up to speed now? Are y'all two up to speed now? What the hell? I don't know when y'all put up to the live and why y'all lost and shit, but.
We do this every Tuesday and Thursday. What you lost about? You don't know none of these stories, girl. What are you talking about? You don't know the story. All right. Um, so the next thing we're going to be talking about is back again with Johan. Because yesterday, I don't know if anybody pulled up this on the live right now. Johan's body was found. Do y'all remember his case? Johan's body was found, they said, in the water. It was badly decomp. I'm not on the live talking about something completely different. And I believe, Sonny, you told me you brought this to my attention that they found his body. And I'm like, what? So I asked a few questions um, if he was on my live yesterday, but I want to bring it back up because, I mean, once again, it's still crazy as fuck what happened to him. So with his case, to refresh y'all, he was um, he graduated from Cornell. He was like 22. He was working at Netflix. Um, they was dubbing him as a computer whiz. They said that um, he got into a black Camry Uber. Um, and, and the last he told to his friends before he got in the Uber, he wanted to go meet other friends um, somewhere else in California. Um, but it's, he made it seem like he would be back. But then when his family tried to contact him, which lives on the East Coast in New York, it was to no avail. So then his brother and his mom came to the West Coast looking for him. They somehow tracked his belongings and found his belongings near, um, I think, the welcome station or the visitor stations of like the bridge or something like that, the Golden Gate Bridge. Cut to yesterday, they said they found his body in the water, badly decomposition, like in, in a bad state of decomposition, like his body had been in water this whole time. So when Sonny brought it up on the live last night, I was like, nah, before she even told me what they were saying in the article, I'm like, nah, I don't know. Something about his decomp is not going to match because he hadn't been in the water that whole time. He had never committed suicide. Like y'all got to understand there is what the news, the media, the, the, the cover wants you to know about it and what really happened do you see what i'm saying that's why we do true crime don't get swept up in the accepted narrative but what's freaky though is somebody else i forgot who pulled up on the live and was like have you seen this new case about jared shaheed and i'm like damn no so I looked it up while I was on live last night. And I was like, they was like, damn, don't they look alike? Now, at first, somebody said, like, are they clones? Because at first I wasn't getting it. I'm like, clone? What? My mom wasn't even on that. I was there to really just do readings. So I'm looking today and I'm like, damn it. They faces look a lot alike. Like when I got the, um, the thumbnail for yesterday's live together, I'm like, damn, they do look a lot alike. And see, Jared, he worked as an immigration attorney on the East Coast, Washington, D.C., Capitol Hill, okay? And he was, um, he had been in like uh, on the West Coast in the California area or just on the West Coast for like since, I don't know, like maybe even before July, because they were saying his family last heard of him was like in July. And then they was like, his, found was, his car was found in Atwater Village and... California. I don't even know exactly where that is. Okay. But yeah, let's go back to Johan. So now they said they found Johan's body. And to refresh you with his case, basically, Johan was being groomed by upper, excuse me, management or executives at his company that basically wanted Johan to start working on some type of like projects that involve like cloning and shit like that. Um, and basically they were trying to initiate him to be a Mason. Johan didn't want to be a Mason. They also invited him to some type of uh, eyes wide shut party, similar to like that Vaughn type of vibe. If you had watched me when I did the Vaughn case, so it was an eyes wide shut party, like a masquerade type of party, like where all type of sexual weird shit is going on, ritual shit is going on, cloaked, dagger, ominous, weird ass vibe shit is going on. They invited him to this party. Um, 
that came out in the live last night. It seems from that party, he was just spooked. Like, I want to delete, I want to hit the delete, the control, alt, delete button on all this shit. I don't want to fucking be. I don't want to fucking be in none of this shit. Like, leave me out of all of this shit. I'll go back to New York, fuck all this shit. But he had seen too much, known too much, heard too much. He was too valuable in a way for them to kind of just, like, let him go. It was almost like a... I don't know. Like, he, it's like he, he, he passed the point where he could have changed his mind. It's like, but he was sure, he was kind of, like, outside of, like, that point where he could have changed his mind. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? I'm making sense. Like, before he went to the party, they let him know, do you, are you sure about what you want to do? Do you want to change your mind? But he didn't. He went to the party. But realized that that was all too much. But it's like once they, he had like accepted and went to the party, just like Vaughn, it's like, it seems like when you, when you accept the invitation to that party, your only choice is to continue further from that moment. If you don't, you just wind up dead. So let's see. Energetically with the personality deck, let's ask who killed Johan. This is some pretty some crazy ass cases. I've been seeing a lot of black men going missing. And having like mysterious deaths as of like as of late, like I mean, like professional. You know what I mean? Like professional. Like you have. How did you end up like this? Like what? With all these bright futures. So let's get into that. Who could have killed Johan? Ooh. Hold on. Ooh. Hella energy just came out. On the damn floor. And it's coinciding with the same stuff that came out when we did his case initially. It's like it's giving all this woman, all this woman vibes. We got a dark male. We got a woman. Brunette female. We got a blonde female. We got a blonde female twice. We got this love stuff. Somebody that was in an open relationship. We got Ice Queen. Short term. Destiny. Obstacles. I couldn't even get the question on Angel's Ancestors. Use these cards to let me know information as to who killed Johan. It seems like a couple, but it's like a couple that somehow was uh, in an open relationship that was connected to Johan. We keep getting this ice queen. Now, again, when we initially did his reading, that woman that worked at his job kept coming up. But like I was telling y'all, that woman was sent to him to monitor him. This shit crazy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And I never even checked out that. I went um, and saw it on uh, TikTok. And they were just talking about that, like, overkill about the decomp, the decomp, the decomp. And before, like, again, before you had even said that to me, like, that immediately popped in my energy. Sonny, like, mm-mm. Sonny with that decomp is going to be off because he hasn't been in the water that long. see you said him getting stabbed he was tortured something about the military yeah that all could make sense they do that they do that 
It all makes sense. Tell me more. Control. Period. Because that's what they wanted to do to him. They wanted to use his talents to help further them in, we in weird ways, like become a puppet. He didn't want to be a fucking puppet. What does this look like? Uh, somebody's puppet. He didn't want to be a puppet. He didn't want to be a puppet. So ultimately, he was killed because he didn't want to play ball. But who killed him? The people that, I guess, wanted to control him. But ultimately, it feels like some type of couple. A couple that, like, he knew. It involved somebody from work. The people at their job really know what's happening, and they still gossiping about it. The people that work at that division of Netflix in the Bay Area are still gossiping as to what happened. That girl is still there. It's like she got a known reputation for this shit. Let's run it through the true crime deck real quick. What else is being hidden about Johan's death? What else is being hidden about Johan's death? You said Kevin wants to ascend, so you see Kevin dead? You think in the future he'll get killed? Because as of right now, I feel like he's not dead. But again, I think they, they told his family to not involve the police, and I believe the family will involve the police. You still on Kevin. What else is being hidden about Johan's death? Again, change your heart, guys. This all happened because he didn't want to play ball with Netflix. And the in the in the Mason shit, like. No, he didn't want to play ball with that shit. Still an international link connected to Johan. Tell me more. Overseas energy connected to Johan. Letter S on top of surgery. Let's see what else. Who put Johan's body? Ooh. You keep getting this control energy. Who put Johan's body in the ocean? Who put Johan's body? Is that like a bay right there? Or is that that's just the ocean, right? Is that a bay? Huh. Who put Johan's body in the bay? I don't know what the bay is called. Bay of what? I don't know. We keep getting this female energy. We keep getting female energy. Female energy all day. Female energy. It's like with that control card popping out. It's like he was like held somewhere for a point of time. Held somewhere. And then they decided to dispose of him. At a particular point. You said the captain had a debt. MS-13. That's interesting. So yeah. Hmm. Back to Johan. It's like it's getting. It's, keep, it's that girl energy is all around him though. About who dumps him in. The bay. Who planted his things? It's like, I don't know. That girl is just like, I don't know if she's some type of agent. Like, I'm getting like, she's not a regular girl. Like, it's like she's some type of agent. Was the girl that was seducing. It's like, because she was definitely seducing him. So the girl that was seducing Johan, is she some type of agent? Sent to get more information. Told y'all. Was she some type of agent? Spying. Info gathering. She just might. She's not. 
maybe in the future she'll be some type of agent, but like looks like some type of fucking agent and training them. Like, listen, y'all, this shit sound crazy as fuck, but I'm on the right path. This shit sound crazy as fuck. <laughs> but this shit is like more this this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy, boy. What the fuck? It's sad as fuck. Like his life getting snuffed out because he didn't want to be down with this weird ass shit. And then this fairly new case with Jared. There's really no coverage about Jared. All I could find about Jared is like I was telling y'all that he was um, a immigration attorney on uh in dc but he had quit that job a while ago this summer like early this summer and then it's like he had took off for the west coast and he was like in several airbnbs the last airbnb he was at um he just left his things there and once his friends and family heard about him leaving his things and him not contacting them or responding to their calls and that's not like him they were saying like he was very financially responsible so what could have happened to jared now it's freaky that Jared and Johan look alike. So now let's kind of get into what happened to Jared. Let's see. Angel's ancestors using a true crime deck again. What happened to Jared? What's being hidden about Jared? Secrets. He was an immigration attorney. What really happened? What's being hidden about Jared? What's being hidden about Jared's disappearance? What's being hidden about Jared's disappearance? Because like they only was they just found his car, a Volkswagen, in Atwater Village. What's being hidden about Jared's disappearance? We got followed. It feels like that. I'm getting like an ominous vibe because it's like for him to just quit his job and just all of a sudden like you want to come to the West Coast, not for another job, but just like, you know, to just be out here. Was Jared followed from the East Coast to the West Coast? Was Jared followed from the East Coast to the West Coast? In the near future came out romance or partnership came out a yes without the exclamation mark came out get more information opportunity peaceful resolution was he followed from the east coast to the west coast it's more like tracked even though this says followed i don't have a card that says tracked so it's like it's giving tracked um is Jared's old law firm involved in his disappearance? Is Jared's old law firm involved in his disappearance? Success. I don't know what the fuck was going down at their law firm. But you know with the immigration shit, y'all? That's a touchy topic because, again... That's just hand in hand with child trafficking, pedo rings, people getting paid off under the table, people looking the other way, um, people fucking up paperwork, children getting lost in the system on purpose, backhand deals for children. He in the land of politics, East Coast, Capitol Hill, D.C. Come on now. Something was going on at that fucking law firm because the first info, the first thing out was secrets. Let's actually run that and see what these secrets was real quick. What was these secrets? Angels, ancestors, what was these secrets? Why is secrets here? Why is secrets here? Ace of, or excuse me, king of swords, lovers. Why is secrets here? King of Swords, Lovers, and Chariot.
again, I feel like this is Jared wanting to do the right thing, right? About the shit that he was seeing, letting justice prevail. Um, like he wasn't for keeping families apart, you know what I'm saying? And he was trying to stand up and do the right thing. So the secrets involve miscarriages of justice, um, them keeping families apart on purpose, um, to like separate parents, to have the children be abandoned, um, and how the police was involved in this. Like it's giving police, it's giving military is involved. So basically the secrets that he found out was that this shit was a sham. Things were a, were a sham with the legal system involving immigrants and children and families. Tell me more. What's being hidden about Jared's disappearance? We got Faith. We got North. Tell me more. We got Poison. Tell me more. We got... So, like, what? North California? Northern California or just the northern part of the state because I was like something about he was in he was in Seattle He was in Seattle, Washington as well. So definitely that's up north, but poison major cover-up Major cover-up now anytime we see that this is the people at the top where did oh i'm getting chills Where did jerry come from? The land of the greasy Capitol Hill dc you know how much shit he knew? Shit that he saw? Major cover-up is major government involved. High officials are involved. What else is here? That gray area we was talking about. People operating in the gray area. Because like when, if somebody examines, it looks like some shit is on the up and up. Or it's like things are, of course, families fall through the cracks and families get... Like this, it's like, it's no way to really, like he could prove it because of the knowledge of something he saw in the conversations. But if he did, then he's bringing top people down. And it's like, I don't know if he was doing his own little side investigation, but next energy out is evidence is in the phone. So it appears that Jared went on the run and quit working at his law firm because he, A, didn't feel safe. B, didn't feel like, Nobody was going to listen, and he wanted to somehow leak this evidence from a safe place, perhaps. Let's ask that. Angel's ancestors, was Jerry going to leak the evidence that he has in his phone? Was Jerry going to leak the evidence that he had in his phone? If you believe came out. No just came out with the exclamation mark. Take action and then no again. So of course it's giving like somebody didn't want him to, but he was about to take action on the stuff that was in his phone. This is in the past position. Everything else is like present energy, future energy with the nose. Then we got the romance energy with a partnership. Hmm. It's almost like also Jared. I don't. I don't know. Let me see. It's a lot of stuff hitting me right now. Exactly. Hand in hand with trafficking. Tell me more. By what's being hidden about Jared's disappearance. We got the letter L. We have planted evidence and we have cursed. And like you're not seeing that much coverage on his case. You're not seeing that much coverage. But that's for a, a purpose. This is linked to high politics in D.C. You're not going to see coverage on Jared's case. Jared is not going to be found either. It sucks to say, but Jared is not going to be found. Jared was uh, also Lebanese. 
as well. He was African. Um, and also Johan was a retreat African. Wow. Tell me more. I don't know why they look so much alike. It's like their cases are parallel. They try to go up against the machine. We know that he was in and out of states, different states. He trusted somebody, but something was too good to be true. And that's what I was about to get into, but I couldn't articulate my thoughts. So it's like I was going to say that he was met with foul play, but it was because of somebody that he trusted. But then it was like he was given like trapped assassin energy. And I was like, hold on, let me try to like, what am I trying to say? So I don't know. At some point, I feel like Jared met somebody that he felt like he could trust, but it was too good to be true. Was Jared betrayed by somebody that he trusted while he was on the West Coast? Wasn't somebody on the West Coast? Was it a friend? Was Jared betrayed by a friend? It may have been some type of female. Tell me more about uh, what's being hidden about Jared's disappearance. See, here we go. So now we get, I faked my death. I'm really alive. Now, see, now it's about to take that true crime turn, okay? And this is coming out in the past position. So that would make sense, Jared. You need to just fall off the grid. Like, let your car be found and just fall the fuck off the grid because... Whoever's hunting him, these are top-notch people. Major cover-up doesn't come out for a fucking reason. <laughs> the fuck? We talk, we talk in the serious of the seriousness when that comes out. So Angel's ancestors, was it Jared's plan this whole time to fake his death? Was it Jared's plan this whole time to fake his death? Communicate clearly. There's something better. Abundance. Tell me more. Within the next few months, wait. So what I can ascertain about this, I feel like he was looking up information about how to do that, how to live off the grid, how to just disappear. And this is, it was a few months in the making to plan this whole disappearance. Because true, some true big scary motherfuckers is after him. And, and will not hesitate to kill him. He knows too much. He knows too much. So is Jared... So is Jared still alive? Is Jared still alive? We got in the near future. We got trust the process. We have there's something better. Is Jared still alive? If you believe, listen to your intuition. Because, right, like, again, like, oh, I'm getting like he was, like, his appearance has changed. Like, that's what I was thinking before I pulled this. Like, his appearance has changed. Even I was getting Mexico. So, let me ask that. Should I try to go back to Africa at this point? Angel's ancestors has Jared. Does, does Jared have a new identity does he have a new new identity credentials new identity credentials big happy changes not the right time trust the process let's see peaceful resolution compromise don't stop forgiveness yes be assertive communicate clearly yes so it's like this is in the present energy and it's given like his appearance has changed, new, new identity credentials. He's trying to get out of the country. Is Jared trying to get out of the country? Says no. Um, shit, why would you want to stay here?
It's like it's almost giving like Manchurian candidate. Or no, enemy of the state is what I'm trying to say. If he got fought back. So it's like he wants to like be some type of uh like martyr, if you will. Like he still wants to take down what he knows with this evidence that he has in his phone, but he can't do it from his identity. He has to do it a different way. And it's like, that's what he's focused on. Like, this shit is crazy. These cases be wild as hell, boy. In DNA. Damn, these cases be wild, boy. Tell me more. What else is being hidden about Jared's disappearance? We get in the letter P. We got love you. I don't know if Jerry has children. Like I, he was a good person. Is a good person. He's trying to trust the process of this whole thing. But I don't know if he has evidence about like cocaine use, cocaine dealing as well. Um, at his law firm. Or just a, a a drug ring, okay? Damn, Jared, what the fuck? And it's just like I feel sorry for people like this bright eye and bushy tail going into these sectors of the world, just being themselves and trying to impact change and be useful. And you know, you're trying to bring your goodness, let your light shine, and then like. That's what they're attracted to, and then you get snuffed out for it if they can't convert you to the other side. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Tell me more about what's being hidden about Jared's disappearance. This is wild as shit. Cheating on my partner. I don't know if they'll try to say that in the story. I don't know if they'll try to, if, if this is going to come out in some type of like news venue about like it was he had he was talking with like there was messages or something he was saying that he, i don't know it's like i'm hearing like some type of like woman and like news voice and she's like yeah and he went off to the west coast to like you know it's like it's giving again major cover-up is is on the table so it's like i'm definitely seeing like some type of news coverage trying to like assassinate his image because he's a good person so they're trying to say like was it drug use was he cheating on his partner did he did he do this to leave his family and go find a lover like they they finna say all type of shit side chick again i haven't seen any coverage about this law and order tell me the truth this is wild as fuck this is crazy. My final question about Jerry, and then we'll move into the readings, is will the the information that he has in his phone, will, will he leak it? Will it get leaked? Angels, ancestors, will the information that Jerry has, will it get leaked? Will he leak it? says no need to worry remain positive improve and help will he leak it take action that's the plan but he's working he's waiting on a perfect time to leak it i feel like it's gonna get leaked so guys we'll guess we'll stay tuned to that but that's all that's coming up about jared's case very interesting very interesting All right, let's see who pulled up first. Yeah, you get in it, Jared's alive. Yeah, definitely me too. All right, so first person pulled up is Moana. So, girl, Lee, you get a future self reading. Do you want to get one or do you want to defer it to somebody else? Are you still in the live, Moana? Crazy as hell, man. I swear to God. Mm. Woo. 
Woo, shit. These cases be wild as fuck. What you think was the wildest case from tonight? Was it Kevin's, Johan's, or Jared's? What's the wildest case? What's the wildest? Put them in order. To me personally, I feel like the most like spookiest is I feel like Kevin's. Because again, how you they saying that you didn't get off a cruise ship, but your body is not on the ship, no evidence on the ship. Like it only stopped at one port. They said you didn't get off. Like, but no footage of you jumping overboard. There's cameras everywhere. I think that's the like that's the spookiest, most mysterious to me out of the three. And then from there, it's given um like Johans, right? And then Jared's, in my opinion. All right, girly. She said, no, I want to use it. She said, I ain't giving nobody shit. <laughs> I'm with you, so. You said Kevin's case for sure. Does he still alive? But, uh, and, and I definitely get like, listen, these people, the crime, like, again, I don't even think we're aware about crime in Bahamas and, and shit like that. But, like, it's almost like third world crime um over there so these people are fucking brutal like they're fucking brutal like it's the most brutal of the brutalists so it's like these people not playing our motherfucking games i don't know how long kevin is going to be alive because again they his family is not going to pay the fifty thousand. how the fuck they going to get the fifty thousand to the people i don't even know if his family is necessarily from miami it never really gave way in the information um but how the fuck they supposed to get these people the $50,000? When I'm going to cash out it to you, how the fuck you going to get the $50,000? I'm supposed to wire it to you. I get, wire fifty. Like, it just sound, it sounds crazy. I would have to, like, and you can't drive it there. So it's like, what, you going to boat it there? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, we going to, you, you going to fly with that money? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. And that's why I think that Kevin, Kevin may not make it out of this. He may not make it out of this. Legit. You hear me? How you go missing from a cruise ship that got cameras? That's why I'm like, yeah, definitely his case is number one for me. Because that's the wildest shit. That's why I did it in this order. Like, that's the wild as fuck. So they will always talk about his case because... How do you just go missing from a fucking cruise ship? And a cruise ship, like we have, we don't, we haven't seen anything. We don't have any footage. We checked, we checked the waters. We did this, like, bro. I was two seconds from calling. Then I was like, every time that I be doing like true crime cases, and I'm like, should I call the police? And then something be like, nah, like, nah, because I feel like they really ain't trying to help, like guys they really don't be trying to help they really don't because even when you see these posts about that like you don't be seeing how to contact the family they just like oh call the police like and the police they can they get all types of tips how they're gonna take you seriously if you're not saying listen i'm with the killers right now looking at them these are they fucking coordinates they're not fucking with the information that you got to tell them that's my perspective i could be completely wrong but i don't know Certain cases, they're not trying to have them be resolved anyway. They just wanted to give the appearance that they're trying to have it be resolved and they're doing everything that they can to have it be resolved. But in actuality, they're not. All they care about really is drugs and guns. And that's how I feel. Um, but all right, you said you want to get to your reading, girly. Let's see. You said they need to sue Carnival Um when this is all said and done, these companies need to be exposed. See, the reason why they're not going to sue Carnival is because Carnival has already cleaned their liability aspect of whatever could have happened to Kevin. Do you see what I'm saying? All they can say is this is the footage that we don't have of him. This is his room steward said that there was nothing out of place in his room. We even got his brother stayed in this. We even got his sister stayed in that. So it's like
they've wiped all liability. So if they try to even do some type of like, it seems like they don't have a case to stand on with Carnival. It seems like it's just going to flow off into like this just mysterious case. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if they if they try to sue them, will anything happen? You say, and granted, they ain't check all them damn waters not come on. Exactly, you hear me? Because they didn't check the waters in Bimini. They just don't, they don't even want you to even talk about that aspect. If you watch any coverage on TikTok or anything about Kevin's case, it's it's like a handful of people talking about it. Um, and the, but now I've seen it on C, CNN now. It's on CNN, like or their website. Not like I don't have regular TV. I'm not watching CNN. But like on the phone, CNN has picked it up. Daily Mail has picked it up. Um, New York Post has picked it up. Um, so again, in all of these coverages, nobody's talking about like they're just about to um, check the waters in Bimini, the crime in Bimini, the crimes in the Bahamas. Nobody's talking about in that in none of the aspects of covering that case. It do you know how deep I had to look to even try to figure out gang names? Because like I kept hearing something boys, something boys. I'm like, what the fuck? Who is this? And it would it, it was like a chill ran up my spine when I finally typed in the right shit, clicked the right shit, and it said Nike boys and some 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 D block. I said, fuck no. This is crazy because it's like how cases just be coming to me. Wild as fuck. All right. Um, let's see. Um, see, yeah, like new eyes with that Shanquilla case. Basically, with that, that was some damn some drug shit going wrong. That was some drug shit going wrong. They was motherfucking smuggling and shit, or Shanquilla was smuggling or some shit like that. And they set her up trying to box her out a fucking deal. That had everything to do with like cartel type shit. It ain't had nothing to do with no money. They was jealous. They jumped her. They was summoning all this other shit. Nah, that had something to do with like remember because we covered it, but I didn't ever like put a title on it. We kind of covered it in one of like the current events and it was like coming up that like somebody snitched. I don't know if she snitched and maybe like I feel like they was like a smuggling crew right? Of some sort and like basically with her she was working or they felt like she was working with the police. So they get they did this trip to bring her to the big man. The big man questioned her. The big man questioned her. And from whatever came from that conversation, he didn't believe that her ass wasn't talking to the people. He left thinking that she was a rat. And that's essentially why Shanquilla was killed. He didn't have shit to do with whatever the fuck they was talking about. They had everything to do with drugs. That had everything to do with drugs. Um, Sandra, you said when you get a chance, Rayon Bibis is also missing from Seattle. I think I seen something briefly about that um, on a true crime hashtags. Raylon Bibis. We'll get back to that in a second. Let me go ahead and do Moana's uh, future self reading. Angel's ancestors, what does Moana's future self want her to accomplish? What does her future self want her to accomplish? We have the Tower card and the Knight of Pentacles. What's blocking her? The Page of Wands. How does she remove the block? We have six of swords. Bottom of the deck, two of swords. All right, let's clarify. Let's get the book. So immediately, see, like with the tower card, what does your future self want you to accomplish? Like, it's like, I don't know, were you on my live last night? But that would have been a good live for you to be a part of. But basically, the tower card is giving what I want you to accomplish, embracing change, also noticing when you need to make a change before they have to intervene 
and make shit crazy for you to be like, okay, I guess I need to change something, you know? Um, it's like noticing the signs that something needs to change before they have to get involved. Um, em embracing change. Also seeing the, the bigger picture of change. Like even though you're comfortable with something that you are living in, right? But it needs to be torn down for something that's truly for you, for you to like uh, align with like your true purpose type vibe. Because like if you basically, whatever your co your, your conditions might be, they're not going to get the results that you're actually wanting. They're actually like smothering you, killing you, causing you stagnation, affecting you, right? Because it's not the reality that you should be in, right? So what your future self wants you to accomplish is embracing change. And actually the goodness that change brings, because like when you see the tower card, you're thinking like they want me to accomplish this what's good about this energy so that's what i'm saying your perspective being upgraded would allow you to see like actually this is a good energy this is saying it's removing something out of my life that was built on sand wasn't built on a firm foundation so it's actually being torn down because this isn't solid why would you continue to keep building on something that's not solid so it's almost like a save me for myself type of vibe right a sos so the second thing is, what do they want you to accomplish with the Knight of Pentacles? Now, the Knight of Pentacles is like a slow and steady energy. I don't know. Do you like spend money fast? Are you doing postal things with your money? Um, but usually with Knight of Pentacles, it's like slow and steady with making money and saving money. Because like the fast is like when you make money fast, then usually you spend money fast. And as fast as it came, as fast as it leaves. If you find a way to make a steady flow of income, then you'll always have income. You know what I mean? So it's almost like changing your perspective in your relationship with money as well as what they want you to accomplish. But let me just double check. Let's see. Um, What do they want you to accomplish? I don't know. Again, it was really like start taking the steps. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Again, with the fast money and wanting things to come so fast and like wanting to always take the elevator places and get things done fast. But spirit is like, if you actually do the work, which actually ties into the tower car, you actually do the work of researching where you're going to put your foundation is this is this land safe doing your research finding the best land okay and then start doing research on what can i build what is what is the best material i can use for my foundation type of vibe almost like building a house and then from there okay um uh, what's the best materials i can use for my house to restrain storms and this and that so it's like again taking stuff piece by piece step by step and being like um, intentional, specific, being thorough is the big, bold word here. Being thorough, not doing everything so fast because you want to see the results so fast. Um, it's wanting you to start taking the steps. That's the best way I could put all of this. Start taking the steps. Stop taking the elevator. Does this make sense? Where you at, Moana? Does this make sense to you about what they're saying they want your future self to accomplish? Like you're really going to have to apply hard work for you to see something that's worthy, that's long lasting, that stands, you know, like you all this short term, fast money, this shit not going to that shit not going to last. And you're going to be back in the same position like, damn, how the fuck do I get this up or how do I boom, 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 if you only focus on fast money, you know. OK, so what's blocking you is the page of wands, page of wands. It's like any type of page comes out, it's like immaturity, something that's like in its infancy. Um, as far as like actions with it being wands or your motivation for something. It could even speak about like slight laziness too. So let's see what's blocking you. 
Um, it's like not acting on the ideas that you get and working them through. It's like, I feel like you get a lot of good ideas to start businesses, make money and do all type of stuff. But it's like, you're not executing these ideas properly. You're trying to like execute them taking the elevator. Okay. Let's see. Um, what's blocking you is not using the resources around you you know you may be thinking like you you need you need to look outside of yourself for resources or for answers um and by doing that you can also get misguided and get distracted when inevitably spirit is saying what's blocking you is that you're not realizing that you have everything that you're looking for let's see what else as far as like executing answers problem solving and stuff like that right um, let's see what else was blocking you. You also could be like waiting on somebody to like support you and like be a motivation and stuff like that. Um, again, back to the initial energy of slow and steady. Um, life is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So it's like, yeah, some people do have instant success because that's their path. We don't know what they did to 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 receive that as a reward or where that might lead to but that should be none of your concern because that's their lane you need to be concerned with your lane your lane and motivating yourself okay and those people that you think that you need will catch up and then at that point you can use your discernment if these people are, are around to genuinely support you or are they just there to just jump on your coattails now that you're successful and you built this from the ground up so yeah, what's blocking you is all of that. One of other people's support, waiting on other people's support to start something, not listening to the ideas that they give you, not acting on them. And when you do, you acting on them with like a, um, like a hustle man, like a hustle man vibe. Hold on, got real quick. I need to check something real quick. I'll be right back. So, yeah, that's what I'm seeing that's blocking you. That's it. And maybe wanted to, like, show off, maybe be flashy, perhaps. Like, wanting, like, this, like, everything that comes with, like, being successful and doing things the right way. But if you don't do things the right way, then it's like you're living, like, a false success life you know what i mean like you it's like you try to you trying to hurry up and jump to the part where like you're successful you showing up i got this i got that i got that but it's like yo you got to shift your focus that's not the important part the important part is you built this is right it's gonna be steady right not like what it can necessarily provide you it's like does this make me happy am i helping others by this you know what i'm saying that type of vibe All right. So how do you remove the blocks? We got six of swords. How do you remove the blocks? So you can remove the blocks by moving, moving, um, going somewhere to like another state. Um, let's see. Six of, six of swords. How do you remove the blocks? Yeah, just kind of like moving away from negativity, moving away from like people that are aren't on this like wavelength that you're trying to be on. Like you're trying to elevate and you want to be better and you want to do better, but you are constantly getting distracted by people that's taking the elevator. And you just like, damn, if they take the elevator, why can't I? You know? Um Something about your location is speeding into this constantly. So you're you're like always fighting 
this temptation and stuff like this. So you actually need to change your surroundings. That will help unblock you a lot. Um, again, with the travel, and I think I said to, I said this to you before about the traveling. So it's like also a need for you to um, almost do like a life review as to why, why stuff didn't work out. Because it's like, if you don't realize where you went wrong in the past, you're going to repeat it. So spirit is like, there's a need for you once again to reevaluate your past shortcomings as it relates to everything we talked about. Because then you'll understand and it'll be in your head fresh. Let me not do these things because if I continue to do these things, per perceive them this way and look at it this way and handle it this way, you're going to end up with the same result. So it's like, do you want the same or do you want different? So it's like what's blocking you, how do you remove it? Ultimately is how you're thinking and the, and the thinking around the people around you and stuff like that. Like you need to elevate and move away from these people. I don't know if it's like not move out of the city into like more of the suburbs or actually move like um, on the other side of town. Like, you know, overall energy is two of swords though. Your bonus advice. Two of swords, two of swords. So two of swords is almost like an emotional decision. It's always like, um, do I follow my head or my heart? You know, it's surrounded by water, but it has like, should I do this? I have this decision or this decision. So ultimately, this is what this always is with you. It's like, should I do things the easy way or should I do things the hard way? Um, do I want to sweat or I don't want to sweat? You know what I'm saying? Um, it's always like, should I take this? <laughs> Should I take the elevator or the steps? Like, that's always what it's saying. But it's like, boom. Really, if you quiet your mind, you know what the true answer is. And it's going to always be to take the steps. It's going to always be to take the steps. Because, see, the elevator leads you to the celebration and the end faster. The steps is the journey. The steps is the mental fortitude. The steps is the belief and the confidence, right? The steps is the faith, right? The steps is the planning. There's nothing wrong with hard work, okay? We live in a society today where it's like nobody want to work hard no more. Everybody want everything fast. But as you can see, like when you get stuff fast, it leaves fast. So you got to switch you got to switch your perspective about how you view things, especially money. Um, actions you take about making money because I feel like they be they they give you solid ideas for business making and stuff like that. Um, but your heart gotta be in the right place for you to get truly blessed. Like if your heart's not in the right place, then yeah, you could make money fast, but it won't be sustained. Does this make sense? All right, Billy. That was your message then. So listen, finally, I want to talk about that whole Chris Tucker thing. Y'all, yeah. I've been meaning to talk about this for like three lives now. Like three lives. We all bypass this whole Chris Tucker thing with this Epstein Island and Chris Tucker's relationship with the Clintons. And so somebody else pull up for a reading. I want to I wanna look into that real quick. Let's see. Um... So, Angel's Ancestors, what is Chris Tucker's relationship with the Clintons? What is Chris Tucker's relationship with the Clintons? Because on that Epstein flight list is where him, Chris Tucker, the Clintons, um, what's that dude, Spacey, that was on House of Cards? I can't think of his first name. Um, a whole bunch of other odd-ass people, they all went to Africa together. Like, why, why the fuck would y'all be in Africa? It was the oddest shit. Can I pull it up? Who was all on that damn flight to Africa? I think my breast pump came today. 
Um, let me see. So that, so. No, it's not that one. What did they report so that? Gee, maybe I don't got it up anymore. I don't know. I don't got it. But it was like hella weird ass people on the damn flight. But most importantly, Chris Tucker and the Clintons. So what is Chris Tucker's relationship with the Clintons? He even did like a whole like stand up special talking about like the trip and everything. Like it's an odd combination. What is Chris Tucker's connection to the Clintons? We got two of wands. We have three of pentacles and we have the star card. Bottom of the deck is the lovers. See, I shit, odd as shit, odd. Chris Tucker's relationship with the Clintons. Two of Wands. A business partnership, period. What type of business? What type of business? Let me see. Let's use all this true crime because this is weird as hell. Angels, ancestors, why is this two of wands here? P. Let's see. P. Do. What else could P be for to describe the two of wands? Why is this two of wands here? Escort or sex. For money, escort or sex for money is wild as fuck. It's wild as fuck. Escort or sex for money is wild as fuck. Just like I told y'all. Why would why would Chris Tucker be in the vicinity riding on a plane? Did a whole comedy stand up? Um, like a like it had been like a like a 10 minute like part of his bit. Talking about Bill Clinton, impersonating him, like, and it was cringe as fuck. It was, it's all, it's, it's found somewhere on TikTok. It's cringe as fuck. Like, what would be their business partnership? That's what Two of Wands is a business. What would it be Chris Tucker and the Clintons' business partnership? Pussy, escort, sex for money, period. What else is right here? Trust in the process. West Coast side chick. Okay, then we got the Three of Pentacles. This is again is working together. This is a collaborative effort to something, but it's surrounded by darkness, shrouded in mystery. Huh? Why is Three of Pentacles here? <laughs> Why is Three of Pentacles here? L gray area. What could that L stand for? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Fake scenes. Hmm. Tell me more. Why is this Three of Pentacles here?
drugged. None of that is good. Why would that? The fuck, Chris, fuck Chris Tucker. He, well, it been like that. I don't give a fuck about none of these people, but it's like we be just like really be in love with the characters these people portray and like fuck who they really are. We just love the characters who they really portray. Like, I understand that, but it's like you can't then use that same admiration that you feel for a character somebody somebody's playing for like when we see them and like and they need to get held accountable for their real life persona events like you know their actions like as they are as themselves like we be like oh shit like nobody was talking about chris tucker like nobody was do y'all remember that like nobody was talking about this shit and it's crazy as fuck why is this uh three of pentacles here drugged Drugging people, even the pinnacles kind of look like pills, like drugging people. This shit ain't good. Why is the three of pinnacles here? We got hiding, hidden agenda, work, job, confusion, extortion, blackmail, parents, ancestor. Crazy as fuck. Then we got the star card next. So this is, again, like this is the fame energy, using a fame to do these things, using the fame as a as a catalyst to like meet, greet, cover up, all of that, right? Why is this star card here? You one person in the public and you somewhere, and you somebody else when the, when the cameras is gone off. <laughs> Undercover cop and CIA. Now, who the fuck is an undercover cop? Now, let's ask. Now, that would explain why the fuck he'd be around the cleanse. Is this motherfucker? But I don't, that, that, that would be odd as fuck. Now, now he's an undercover cop, Angel's ancestors. I just got to ask, right? Is, <laughs> is Chris Tucker an undercover cop? You say get more information, though. Is Chris Tucker an undercover cop? Ask your angels. Ask help from others. Not the right time. No need to worry. Don't stop. But it would have just said no if he wasn't, right? But it's looking like a, a yes. This is giving yes energy to me. I don't know about you, but this is giving yes energy all day. Couple with the CIA vibe? Because I'm just like, why would that's an odd ass pairing? Why would Chris Tucker, the Clintons, and all these odd ass people be on a flight to Africa? It says that Chris Tucker went to Epstein Island 11 times. 11 times? We're about to ask the tough questions in a second. I just wanted to clarify what came out. So then we have the bottom of the deck, the lover's card. We're asking and clarifying. What is Chris Tucker's connection to the Clinton? So why is the lover's card here? We got eyes. Eyes is monitoring. Eyes is monitoring. Monitoring. Looking. Info gathering. We got lake. This is like the lake vibe is like secrets where the bodies is buried. Like Why is this lover's card here? Why is this lover's card here? We got justice, my, them, they, car. We got killer. Killer. We have ex-husband. We have it's a trap. We got fire, family member. Hmm. This is some odd ass energies, right? Let's ask the tough questions. Well, we already know. Now that's a major twist, and I never even considered that that Chris Tucker would be either he is CIA or he's just working with the CIA. She, you know. It would make a lot of sense though. So Angel's ancestors, is Chris Tucker a CIA agent? That would be crazy as fuck, right? Because we just know him as his character. So for him to be like, what? We'd be like, it, it seems unbelievable, but shit. They say the truth is stranger than fiction. Is Chris Tucker a CIA agent? It's been a wild ass life, boy. Forgiveness. 
a year from now and in the present communicate clearly uh, within the next few months. Is Chris Tucker a CIA agent? The situation will improve within the next few weeks. No need to worry if you believe. Like, why would it just? It would just say no if he wasn't. Exhale from others. That yes part without the exclamation mark. Be assertive. Partnership. <laughs> yeah, it's giving. It's giving he some type of agent. It seemed like them rush hour movies just one rush hour, huh? Let me see what y'all talking about. You hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kevin Spacey. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Because I was like, what is that full name? Why the hell would they be on a jet together all going to fucking Africa? That don't make sense. Um, let's see. You said, yeah, the entire list of names is crazy. Yeah, you you know what I'm talking about. You've had it on your telephone for a year and just looked at it again and saw the Dalai Lama name. Do you see, do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's the craziest shit, y'all. Okay, so let's ask the tough question. Did Chris Tucker partake in any pedophilia when he was on Epstein Island? Did Chris Tucker partake in any pedophilia when he was on Epstein Island? Now, why would you go 11 times, but you're not partaking? Now, I don't know how he would have gotten out of that. I don't know how he wouldn't have got out of that. Other than the fact that he's an undercover cop. Um, and, part, and, and it's given CIA. Now that's y'all bet. That's listen. I've said a lot of wild shit, and we've stumbled upon a lot of wild revelations on this show in the most unopportune times. But this is definitely one for the history books. Like I never saw that coming. Never saw that coming. What? What? And then we just asked, did he engage in any pedophilia while he had a? It said he was. A, he's on the flight list eleven times. Did he engage? How would you? How how could you go eleven times? You got you you definitely doing some CIA type shit. Cause how are you there but you're not partaking? Was Chris Tucker going to Epstein Island to info gather? Was Chris Tucker going to Epstein Island to info gather? Peaceful resolution came up. Abundance came out. Compromise came out. Exhale from others again. This others is like backup. This others is the team. Like, I don't think he's the only one. Who I'm getting chills. He's not the only CIA agent on that list. Now, again, like, the CIA has come up in a lot of other shit and... It's like it, they feel completely dirty, but nothing is wholly dirty in, 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 in these type of aspects. It's almost, almost like fractions, groups, or just the head of something. But I don't necessarily feel like whatever he was doing stemmed from some type of like sinister vibes. I do feel like he was there to info, gather, and report back what's happening. And like the people that he's around would never suspect that he's some type of agent because you know why? They're going to always see him as smoky. <laughs> Just like we will. And that's why it's baffling for us because the dichotomy between like smoky, but he an undercover cop agent because even with him in like rush hour, you still, he was still playing like a comedic version of like a cop so it's like it's still hard to see him like a serious cop but it's like he played that shit have the will though right <laughs> he'll not okay so wow so then was chris tucker the was chris tucker a part of bringing epstein down was chris tucker a part of bringing Epstein down. 
because I don't believe if there's any sound bites of him speaking out about Chris Tucker, excuse me, about Epstein or his take on it. I didn't look for it, so I could be like lying, but it's just like none comes to my mind where there's any sound bites where Chris Tucker was speaking about the Epstein situation. Um, then I, I'm asking, I said, does he have anything to do with bringing him down? We have opportunity. Is giving multi pieces of information. Like CIA's is all about like spying. You see, man, listen here. Listen to your intuition. And then we get trust the process again. Remember, it just came out when we were talking about the Clintons. So, and you know what? Bill is hella dumb. Okay. Bill is dumb. He's smart in like a, a uh, he's smart about what he's smart about, but he's not tapped in to like discernment. He could be tricked. Bill is very much a hit. He's still from Arkansas. That Arkansas is still in him, okay? I just seen his goofy ass walking into some type of bookstore. Where, where was that? What was that at? I was just like, he just looks so damn uh -huh, uh -huh, like just so goofy. Um... What do I want to ask next? I think I'm still reeling from the fact that Chris Tucker is like a CIA agent. <laughs> that don't even feel right for me to say that. I don't know. Um, what else? Oh, will Chris Tucker be a part? Because I think they've been trying to take down the Clintons plenty of times, but it's just like not working. I mean, they've been hitting him with everything they got. Well, Chris Tucker, because I don't think Chris Tucker and the Clintons hanged out. Let's ask before we get into that other question. Do, does Chris Tucker and the Clintons still have a relationship? Do they still have a current relationship? Does Chris Tucker and the Clintons still have a relationship? Communicate clearly. Talking on the phone. I mean, they believe they do. But it's not a it's not a relationship that they think it's it's definitely info gathering. He's giving info gathering all day. They've never not been in communication. Like so, what I wanted to know was, will Chris Tucker be in part of an investigation or a what is what am I trying to say? A case will Chris Tucker be a part of a case to bring the Clintons down? We got forgiveness. Success. Because they some slimy motherfuckers, boy. They've been trying to bring them down for years in so many different like avenues and venues. It's like so hard to bring them down. Ooh, it's just not going to fight that. Um, peaceful resolution. Yes, again. Remain positive. Meditation brings answers. That's crazy as fuck. But listen, this is what all I wanted to see is in this present energy is this success card. But it says situation will improve. So perhaps the Clintons, we will finally see the Clintons go down. Like, it's so many bodies. Like, and that's why killer came out. It should have said serial killer. Maybe I just didn't have that deck in the, in the, in the half of the deck I was shuffling with. But shit, yeah, killer, like a motherfucker. Um, let's ask that though. Does Chris Tucker know about people that the Clintons have killed? Do, does Chris Tucker know about the people that the Clintons have killed? This is just the oddest question. I never thought when I woke up I'd be asking this. It says within the next few weeks in the past, listen to your intuition. Yeah. Listen, Chris Tucker is really an agent out here, bro. Because I'm out here, but I'm like, is this motherfucker a perv? Like, but it's odd for a different reason in your energy. It's odd because, like, yeah, he doesn't belong. And it seems like, what? Like, duck, 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 goose. But it's like, it's a goose for a reason, bro. Like, <laughs> So does he know about the, the people that the Clintons have killed? Yes, let's hear intuition. But um, I don't know if he just recently, if they just recently killed somebody a few weeks ago. 
but a few weeks ago was um um Tafari's murder, was it not? Were the Clintons a part of Tafari's murder? Were the Clintons a part of Tafari's murder? Meditation brings answers. We're here, so we might as well ask. Extra angels compromised. It ain't oh, it said no. I was gonna say it ain't saying no. So I was gonna say that it said no. Okay. Interesting. I guess it's just somebody else they're talking about though. Wow. That's crazy as fuck though. What y'all think about this shit? Um you said what is a future self reading? So a future self reading is where we talk about what does your future self want you to accomplish? What's blocking you from accomplishing it? And how do you remove the blocks? So if you want to figure out that information, let me put my cash app down below. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Look below on your screen and you should see my cash app. You can send 1515 there. When you do, my phone will alert me. I will reply back with like a heart, let you know I got it. And then I'll start with your reading. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, guys, is that not crazy? I finally talked about I've been wanting to talk about this for so long. What? So, Chris Tucker is a CIA agent. Wow. Okay. Hmm. 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 Okay. Um, but yeah, I will. I'm loving to see like when the Clintons finally go down, y'all. If we just knew the complete truth, like it's like, how are these people still uh, like, how are they still walking around? How do they still have a name on the world forum? Like, how? How? If you truly knew all the dastardly shit these people have done, insane and fucking insane. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else to ask on that topic. I can't think of anything else to ask. What else did I want to talk about? It was something else. Damn. I got to start writing shit down. You said you sent there. All right, let me check. Lo, 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 lo. Is my phone on silent? I ain't got nothing, girly. Yeah, not yet. You sure you sent it to the cash out below? Didn't get it. There's nothing there. Okay. Damn, what else was it? I feel like there's something I'm missing. I wanted to run through the cards. Damn. I gotta start writing shit down. I need to also do a reading about them kids in Lahaina. So look, y'all, I had seen something on TikTok. Where they was like they took like an aerial um picture of like where the bus depot normally is in that area and it's like normally i think they counted like 16 long buses and like maybe like six like short buses okay don't quote me on these numbers but basically it's like a bus yard then they did the a uh, like an uh, aerial um scan of like after the fires I don't know how they were able to get the before and after. I don't, I'm not certain. I'm not certain. But so, stick with me. They were saying, like, why would buses be missing necessarily after the fire? Now, it could be multiple reasons, but they said that the kids was home and dropped off way before the fire started. So why would the buses be missing when this is the only bus yard? So it's given. Where else are those buses parked? The news hasn't been talking about buses. That communication is still down. So they were saying a lot of people that are missing children can't even get the news out, the word out, or nothing. They just think that they burnt up. 
So hmm, I'm going to run that through the cards in just a second. Let me see. Um, hell yeah. He hella body, Sandra, right? You said Cash App been having a problem today? Damn, don't tell me that. Oh, you said it's pending due to the connection. Okay. I'm going to check it in a second. Um, you said, what about um, the what? The televised hearing where our government was talking about. Yeah, we talked about that. So, again, with that, uh, so the thing with that, they want to shape our perception on what this alien shit is. They want us to believe that that we that we could trust them when it comes to this topic. That's all this info leak, public information act vibe is when it comes to this particular topic. We're we're releasing our documents. We're publicly saying that yes, we were in contact with aliens, and, but they still not coming out and telling you exactly what it is from A to B, because and they're not. All this recent stuff is. Is to make you feel that you can trust what the government say at a time where everybody is distrusting the news and what the government has to say. That's it. So they want to shape our reality on the topic of it when they're lying. They're not giving you what we really want to know. Like, you telling us something that we already knew. Like, what the fuck? Everybody should have already known it was, like, otherworldly creatures that look like humans, don't look like humans. Like, what? It's the funny-looking motherfuckers are walking around here already that don't look like you. Like, what are you? Is it really far-fetched to think that it's, like, creatures with, like, different abilities and can access different parts of their brain? You know? Come on now. They're not, they not going to they not gonna tell you what we really need to know, right? They're only going to tell you enough to make you want to trust what they say, you know? Like, it also is part of a, desensis, a desensitization type of plan tactic, if you will, um, because I feel like they are still planning some type of, like, fake alien invasion. Yeah. Because just like with the 9-11 attacks, um, any type of, it makes you forget that actually our government is attacking us. So then we all get distracted and be like, oh, this is the true enemy. Listen, if any aliens wanted to attack us, harm us on a global level, they would have already done it. Trust me, we are being oppressed by the people we should be afraid of. <laughs> okay? It's, 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 it's creatures under our feet, underground every day, walking past you, shape-shifting every day. They're already here. They've been here. Like, you know? You know? So it's like, it's nothing new for the government to be like, it's aliens. You know? The hell? I don't fall for that shit. So then about, yeah, the bricks thing. So yeah, we ta I talked about that briefly in another live. I still ain't got that cash up. But um, I talked about that bricks new uh, currency in a, in a couple of other lives uh, ago. I forgot what I said about it though. Um, I think I was saying that it's gonna come into fruition. It's gonna be like some delays, but oh, I'm so glad you brought that up. Thank you. I still ain't got it, really. Um, glad you brought that up because all these countries, not all of them, because but mainly China has been experiencing some crazy ass weather that I feel like is brought on by like harp. Or some type of like man-made shit to fuck with China. Now I don't know about any um, cause BRICS is Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. So let me see. Um, all I know about is like crazy weather in China. 
Uh, let me see. But she, if China pull out, it might be the end of the union. I don't know. I don't, let me see something. Let me see bad weather and Brazil. Nah, Brazil is saying bad storms and stuff there. Period. Look it up. Um, um, Russian bad storms. It just said, I don't know, this is in July. Man. That's in July. I don't know. I'm not necessarily seeing, um, it's just in a lesson they said was like in July about bad storms and stuff like that. Um, What I want to ask, though, is, is the United States using weather warfare against the countries of BRICS, the BRICS countries? Is the United States using weather um, modification on the BRICS countries? Opportunity. <laughs> no need to worry. Communicate clearly, yeah. Everybody taking a ball and going home in America, like, oh, so y'all don't play with me no more? Oh, y'all don't play with me no more? I started this barbecue shit. That's the motherfucking thing. Yeah. I'm seeing whether my definitely weather modification. Look, look at the opportunity vibe. Look at the imagery. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You look, you said I'm so over the games. This stuff is crazy. Have you seen um yeah, Miss Ohio, where have you been? We didn't talk about all of that. I don't know if you scroll down. You said you're not getting all the notifications. Spencer said we talked about that. It's still pending. Girl, what the hell? I don't know what's going on with Cash Up today. I don't know what they own. Because, yeah, nothing's coming here. Nothing's coming. It's still staying zero on my end, and it's still staying pending on your end. Now it's high volume. I ain't never seen nothing like that. I ain't never seen no error message like that on Cash App. It's high volume in the electrical grid across the money. It's backed up. It's a, it's a, money, it's a money jam. What? All right. I don't know what cash up on right now. That's odd as hell. That's odd as hell. What they up to? But they were saying that shit, that Fed now shit is really starting to stroll out. So shit, we'll see, guys. Shit is starting to change. Let me see. But that's is that it. I think that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm probably about to get up out of here, y'all. Um, I may come back later on tonight. Maybe Cash App will be back up and running tonight. If it's not, then then I'll just give out my Venmo. I'm about to get up out of here, guys. Thank y'all for everybody that pulled up. We talked about the three cases. They was crazy as hell, okay? Do your own research, okay? And then be like, damn, come back to the live and then watch what the fuck came out. It'll all make it make sense. If you do your own research and then you come back sometimes, you be like, damn, that's wild as fuck. So check it out. Um, let me see. Make sure y'all check out that little baby. That little baby reading was hella crazy over on Patreon. Make sure y'all check that out and other uh, exclusive drops. I've been on Patreon. Wild ass shit has come out in those part twos. Anyways, guys, like I always say, what? Seek the truth, vibrate higher, and carpe diem. Until the next time, shit, I'm out. Still got energy. I'll come back later on tonight. 
Okay, so keep your notification zone. She and I'll come back. And if I if that money come through Divine Diva, then I'm gonna send it back to you. Um, or and if it doesn't ever come through, then if you're available later on tonight, you can just resend it via like my um Venmo. All right, child, I'm up. You said you're saying the same thing. Crazy as hell. All right. I'll catch y'all later on tonight.